welcome to Perth Watch. Today's review is a result of a poll I've put out of a number of watches on the socials. YouTube had the most votes and by far and away the San Martin 62 Mass won the poll and had most votes overall. So what I have to feature is indeed this particular watch. It comes in this package, just kind of nice I guess impact package here. San Martin is a Chinese based company. They've been pioneering uh, watch production in China as I understand it, mainly homage pieces, but really they've come to be respected in terms of quality of the production. So uh, what I have is a watch that has been kindly provided via WR Watches, which is a Chinese based retail company and among their catalogue is indeed San Martin. So I asked them for this one to start off the collaboration. So shout out to them for providing this uh, particular piece today. So guys, without further ado, let's flip the camera around and take a closer look at this particular piece. All right, guys, so here we have the packaging on the table here. So, you know, this kind of plastic, uh, I, I guess it's supposed to be a kind of dive style case, you know, fairly well balanced, you know, it spins uh, quite nicely as I like to spin it. Uh, quite difficult to open, I gotta say, you gotta, you know, really get your fingers, fingernails under these tabs here. And they kind of have a very firm click as you can feel. All right, so the watch sits in this kind of foam here. I'm just gonna show you what else it comes in very straightforward manual okay there's a bit of a simple guide of their different models which presumably are just that three hands or chronograph there is an english section or part english right very simple nothing much to the instructions there they've got a water resistant chart of their suggestions right a little bit of a guide of what water resistance uh, ratings mean and right that's it really nothing much more than that um, there's a kind of a warranty card there simple tag and then the extra links which i've removed okay so that's it for the packaging i'm just going to put that aside and just get this bracelet open and show you the watch in close up so guys this is the san martin 62 mars homage here the going rate for this particular model which comes with sapphire and ceramic insert as well as the metal bracelet is 250 usd they do have a number of options available including uh, mineral glass whether you have a full loom or part loom bezel meaning just a bezel pit whether you have a sterile dial or a dial with the san martin brand and you know the water resistance at the bottom there uh, and whether you have a rubber strap versus the steel that I have. If you go for the cheapest option, meaning rubber, mineral glass, and the uh, kind of standard gray dial, it's uh, as low as 175 USD. 250 USD is the most expensive variation in terms of the options. Okay, so it's just going to open this up and set the time a little bit back so that it looks a bit prettier for the camera, right? At about you know, nearly 10 past 10 is always what we like to do. Okay, so let's just talk about the movement now. The movement in here, as you may have guessed, is none other than the Seiko NH35A a movement that many, many Chinese watches seem to be using because it is reliable. Stats down the left of screen there. Uh, the rated accuracy, as you see there, this one is really working very, very well. Excellently regulated, running roughly plus three Two plus four seconds a day in the last few days in fact i've had this for over a week now that i've been running this uh, the quick set date in this case is implemented at the three o'clock position and it's actually pretty nicely done it's got a uh, kind of brush steel frame surrounding the date window there at three o'clock okay moving on to the case now the case here is 40 millimeter diameter and that's the same as the bezel diameter in 316L steel. The overall thickness up to the top of that domed crystal there is 14 millimeters. Uh, lug width is 20 millimeters, as you may obviously expect with a watch of this size. With lug deduct distance between my thumbs there, which is classical at 48 millimeters. Overall watch weight with the three links that I removed is 161 grams, which means that it is actually pretty substantial. It does feel you know weighty on the wrist, but not too heavy. Finishing wise, okay, circular brushing on the top of the lugs there, uh, as well as circular brushing 
at the bottom surface of the lugs. Hopefully that translates on the camera in this lighting here. The case bag itself is polished, you can see there, uh, as well as the side there transitions to polished surface on the side. But I'll note that the end of the lugs has vertical brushing. So nice kind of like work that they've done in terms of finishing this case. And it is actually pretty well finished. I mean, look at the transitions between brush and polish. It's pretty well done overall, I think. Right, the case back, as you can see, has a rather nice shark there. And that's kind of, I understand where the name Sharky comes from, the name, uh, the nickname Sharky for San Martin. All right, let's let you show that nice relief shark there. So screw down case back with screw down sign crown. Uh, again, the sharp motif on the crown there uh, gives us the 200 meter water resistance rating that this watch is given. Moving on to the dial then. The dial here is a rather nice grey sunburst. I mean, hopefully you can see the, the sunburst in effect as I move the watch around and then in the macro shots, which I will post up here. It does have printed details, uh, including the San Martin, the water resistant rating, as well as the chapter ring, uh, which is around the periphery of the dial. Applied steel indices, pretty nicely done, right? There's classic rectangles, which is obviously the homage to the Seiko 62 Mass original. And then the date uh, window frame, which, which I discussed earlier, which is nicely done in the brush steel also. The hands are polished, mostly polished, but if you look closely in the center bit in the medial part of the hands, it's actually got some brushing. So nice, uh, you know, differential finishing on the hands as well. It does have a nice loom length around the, the distal parts of the hands as well as the rectangular pip on the seconds hand, which gives you that seconds hand counting loom. It's got pretty nice C3 Super Luminova on all the usual spots, and that includes uh, 11 of the indices, three hands, as well as the full bezel in this case. And of course, a loom shot right here for you guys to appreciate how this glows so nicely in the dark. Okay, surrounding the dial is a 90 click unidirectional dive style bezel with a rather nicely done ceramic inserts. So look at those numerals, you know, 60 um, uh, minute markings all the way around. Let's just hear how it sounds. So it's 15 clicks. It is actually a 90 click bezel, not 120 click, which is probably what I generally prefer or failing that. I guess I would accept 60 click, but they've gone for a 120 click on this particular watch. Okay, on top of the dial, uh, it is protected by a domed sapphire crystal, which is also very nicely boxed at the edges, and that gives you a very nice characterful distortion of the dial. They're really nice. I really enjoy this particular crystal that they have produced, and I'm sure a lot of people do like what they have done here. Right? That's really what they're given. Moving on to the bracelet then. The bracelet then looks like a three piece per link bracelet, right? It is uh, brushed finishing, but it's got chamfered edges there, which have polish. Nicely done, really. I, I gotta say the work that they've put in here, they have some differential work on the bracelet. And I say it looks like three piece per link, but if you look at how it's constructed, it's actually more like two piece per link with a H piece uh, comprising the two side bits there. A push pin adjustment, uh, but it's actually pin and collar, which is pleasing because that's far more secure than a simple uh, split pin and overall uh, the most secure way. I think most people would think it's more secure than the screw link, but you know, I, I think a step up in luxury would be screw links. What they've given is push pin and collar for the bracelet adjustment. Uh, the clasps, again, you know, they've really done quite well. A milled housing there with six point micro adjustment, which I really enjoy. You know, you can kind of adjust that for many other wrist sizes before having to put in a link or take out the link. All right, push button release with fairly solid deployant arms there. Okay, that's the entire description of the watch. So let's just snap it on the wrist for the wrist shot now for you guys. And there we have it. The 62 mass homage from San Martin on my 17 centimeter wrist, 48 millimeter in a lug to lug distance, remember, and 40 millimeter uh, sizing with 14 millimeter height there. And that's how the bracelet sits on my wrist. Okay guys, so that's the showcase of the watch. Now what 
have I really liked about this watch now? So much to say about it in terms of the positive. What a fantastic package. I got to say Seiko movement, quality case, right? They've really done well on the case. Sapphire with that nice dome and box, uh, ceramic bezel insert, 200 meter water resistance, and a pretty nice bracelet for the price. It's really quite good. I'm really quite impressed with this. A uh, well done sunburst style. I really think they've done quite good on that as well as the indices and hands are pretty well done and the bezel on top of that plus you know that's crystal you know so much love for that crystal i gotta say I really enjoy uh, the way that it adds to this watch what are the negatives i really have very little to say i think uh, if anything you might say that the two other color options they offer which, which is blue and green might tempt you to buy three of this rather than settle on just one and that would burn a hole you know, a small hole in the pocket it's almost nitpicking to complain here. You know, I think one thing I would say is that they took away the drill lugs. Previously, they did have drill lugs, uh, but they removed that on this particular version. So, you know, I reckon that's a small step back in my opinion, but I really do feel picking on this watch is really trying to find very little things to say in terms of the negative side. So much on the positive. So guys, there you go. My thoughts on the St. Martin 62 Mass. Let's flip the camera around now for the wrap up. So there you go guys, my review of the very good San Martin 62 Mass Homage. Please let me know your thoughts on this particular brand or this particular piece if indeed you own the 62 Mass Homage. I think there is a lot to like about it and I, I reckon for the price, this is one of the best watches I have ever reviewed or at least one of the best I've reviewed for a very long time it's got so much good things about it so guys if you like my reviews do consider subscribing i put out new content every week always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology thank you again for sticking with me and as always i'll catch you guys again next time